Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make these welding seams in a procedural way. The credit of this setup goes to Naurus in the Typeflow Facebook group. Also, Eloy Andalus show another way to do that, but not with Typeflow. And this post started with someone posting a challenge because someone started doing that with uh, Houdini. The point here is to teach you how to do that in Typeflow, but uh, really you're gonna learn how to use Typeflow and you can modify it your own project, not just copy and paste. So let's start from zero. I will delete everything. You're gonna need two objects at least to make intersection. Then you're gonna make birth intersection. You're gonna pick the two objects. And between those two objects, there will be particles. So you put very low number in the threshold so you can see all the particles creating. Next, you're gonna make Particle binding. In particle binding, by default is a hundred. You want to make only one, so you want to connect one particle to the next one. So you sort by distance, and this number is absolute distance, and you're gonna change it accordingly to the scale of your scene. So just for you to have idea, here is this 30 centimeters, unit setup, centimeters, centimeters. So depend of your scene, you need to tweak those numbers. Okay. Next step, spline path, and you create new. In spline path, you're gonna change it to particles binding. Here you cannot see the, the spline yet, but if you click one time, you're gonna see. So that's your spline, that's how it looks now. And in splines, you need to change weld knots and optimize, and you create increase the threshold here. Tolerance, sorry. Now you have the spline. And that's the very basic setup, so the spline is already working. But now we're gonna give a look of weld. For that, you add a displacement, displace. In maps, you're gonna choose gradient ramp. Press M to open your material editor, drag it one slot instance you're gonna give it a title also this depend of your scene scale so let's give 150 here you have to rotate 90 degrees let's create here also dark and let's increase here it's important also that you click in using exist mapping. So the number of the dots are here, right? And to make it look a little better, you can put turbo smooth. There are many ways that you can do those seams, but in a pinch, this can solve a problem. And also, you really learn how to use some parts of Typeflow and 3D Studio Max. I hope that's useful. Thank you.